What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Antalya, Turkey. Let's do it. That's right guys, Antalya is a Turkish resort town right here along the Turkish Riviera, sitting at the base of the Taurus Mountains. <laughs> it's breakfast time out here. Thank you. This is Hadrian's Arch, the entrance into the old city. It's about visiting the old town of Antalya is that there is Greco-Roman ruins all throughout that are built into the hotels and the restaurants, making for a very fun setting. All right guys, we've got a really awesome taxi. He's gonna take us on a tour to some waterfalls and a restaurant that's right over the water. So we'll see. Check this thing out though, it's a Mercedes. You could pay for a tour where you're on a bus with a bunch of people and that's fun too, but I found that these private tours give you the flexibility allowing you to write the itinerary and go where you really want to go, but also the luxury and the comfort that makes it worthwhile. And the good news is it's not going to break the bank here on the Turkish Riviera. And the first spot we hit was one of the many waterfalls that you can check out here. They're really like a fern gully tropical setting right here in Turkey. So here we are at Dudin Shalas. It's a waterfall. You could also call it Dudin Waterfalls, but really a beautiful place right here in Antalya. It's a very nice waterfall. It's actually like a natural air conditioning out here. It feels pleasant and beautiful, really. Look right behind me, they actually have an ancient tomb. I've never ridden a camel before, this is gonna be my first time. So we're at Arkadesh restaurant. We're actually gonna have lunch here. Let's go down there. And right here in this part of Turkey, there's many restaurants that sit right along the riverfront, just like this. And you sit down in a natural outdoor setting along the river and stream and it's so peaceful and great food. What I'm going to do is show you guys how to translate a menu that's not in the language that you speak. In this case, it's in Turkish. So I'm going to go Turkish right here to English, and then I'm going to actually um, go to where it says camera right here, and I'm going to look at the menu here, and you can see it automatically starts overlaying text. Pretty cool, right?
really good prices to get into these natural parks. Let's go see what this one has to offer. Man, out here in Antalya, Turkey, I'll tell you what, they got some Fern Gully type waterfalls. This is the second one I've seen, but there's more. Here at the Airbnb slash condo hotel. You can see the name. It's a sweet apart hotel. Let's go take a look. Cheers. <laughs> If you look right behind me, you can see the Hurtelec Khaleesi. This is actually a tower that was built in the second century by the Romans. They're just now getting around to excavating it, actually. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head into the old town of Antalya and see what's in here. Yeah, so we're actually gonna go out on a sunset boat tour. It's 45 minutes, about $10, which is around 200 Turkish lira. And they got some gelato right here, bubble gum. I ended up getting the Snickers flavored ice cream 
with a waffle cone. And here is a look at that Snickers ice cream with some Nutella and a waffle cone. All right, guys, we are at the old Roman city of Parge. Let's go take a look. You know, a lot of people outside of Turkey and the Mediterranean region don't realize that some of the best preserved Greco-Roman Byzantine sites are here in Turkey. That includes Troy, Ephesus, and then the many different Roman, Greek, civilizations that were all up and down this area in the Turkish Riviera. Check out these marble pillars. There's a lot to see in here, and I would say set aside an hour at least, but two hours would be ideal. And as we were walking through there, one of the local farmers came up to us and told us, hey, you can eat those uh, prickly pear fruit if you want. Uh, I didn't speak a lot of Turkish, but we were able to communicate through like hand signals and whatever, led us over there and he broke one open for us to eat. That was delicious. I guess you eat the seeds, they're kind of hard, but you just swallow them down, but delicious. This is like the Circus Maximus. I guess they would probably uh, race horses or chariots. Constructed in 193, finished in 211 AD, but it has a depiction of gods and giants and Dionysus, who was the god of wine, who has an important role in Anatolia, which is the peninsula here that we're on. You can see it's the god of wine. I'll tell you what, this theater is very impressive. If anything, this is what you need to see above all else. If you see anything, see this theater. Considering how old it is, it's very well preserved. The most impressive thing about this is how they designed it. The way they cut the rocks and the way they set up the seating. If you look on the wall here, you can still see some of the fresh paint. 
well, not fresh paint, but the old paint. And then the shell here has some blue on it. So here we are on Atuturk Street. We're just gonna walk here at around 6.30 p.m., see what's going on. And guys, from Anatolia, where the main airport is, you can either go east or west. We decided to go west. And in our next travel guide, you're gonna see Kosh, and you're also going to see Alodiniz and Fethiye. So do be on the lookout for those videos when they come out. But wow, what a place to start our journey of the Turkish Riviera right here. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this episode from Antalya. We'll see you on the next one.